when you do want to follow our hair loss protocol, try to go for the minimum effective dose and try to go for the safest drugs that are out there. Hello everyone, my name is Mark de Koning, and today I'll be talking about hair loss protocols. The reason I got interested in this subject myself is because male pattern baldness runs in my family. And when I noticed that my own hair was starting to pull back, I considered it time to look into it and try to fix my problem. As with everything, whenever I think there have to be drugs introduced in order to make it happen, I try to go the safest route. So the protocol that I'll be talking about is the safest route that I know about. What I did was I started doing a protocol of finasteride. When you're doing finasteride, there's quite a few things that you have to think about though. First of all, a lot of people use too much of a dose in my opinion, and you do have to test your DHT levels beforehand and look into your family tree to see if male pattern baldness is something that runs in your family, yes or no, because it might be as easy as you just experiencing stress. So what I did did was I limited stress as, as much as possible and I looked into finasteride. So what most people will recommend you is to take one milligram a day for a long time or just forever, one milligram a day. So I started looking around on the internet and I found this finasteride clinic, that's what they call themselves, and their protocol is to only use one milligram a day three times a week. And they say that the results are pretty similar, but again, because you're introducing a drug in your body, you do have to think about the fact that you're taking certain risks. Finasteride commonly works well for men, but there's a small percentage of men that cannot handle finasteride. There are certain side effects, such as a loss of libido or other things. Again, I think this is something that you should look into yourself. I'm just trying to tell you what works for me, but I'm not a, I'm not a doctor and I really uh, recommend that everyone looks into this for themselves. So again, I'm just going to tell you exactly what I did and the results it had for me. I personally used one milligram three times a week. There are people that use up to 35 milligrams per week for something called benign prostatic hyperplasia. Now this tells us two things. First of all, most men are able to deal with much higher doses because again, I only use three milligrams a week. They use up to 35 milligrams a week. Second of all, finasteride is being sold in two different doses. The one milligram variant, which is commonly known as finasteride and is what most people buy to prevent male pattern baldness. And then you have this other drug, which comes in five milligram pills, which most people think is only used for benign uh, prosthetic hyperplasia, but it's exactly the same drug, but it's much cheaper. So what I personally did is I bought the five milligram variant and I just bought a pill cutter and I would just cut them up in five pieces and just take them as, as I need it. It's really much cheaper. Now, something you really have to think about is by using finasteride, you're effectively playing with your DHT level. DHT is the dihydrotestosterone, by the way, is a very important hormone for the male body. It helps with certain things such as muscle development. So it's something that you definitely need in your body up to a certain point. So with finasteride, you can lower your DHT levels as much as 70%. Now there's another drug called dutesteride, which lowers your DHT by as much as 100%. But I personally think that's very risky because again, DHT is necessary in the male body and is a very important hormone. Again, I'm not a doctor, but when you do want to follow our hair loss protocol, try to go for the minimum effective dose and try to go for the safest drugs that are out there. The ones that are proven to work for most men without side effects. Other than using finasteride, I did derma rolling. Derma rolling is, well, this little thing. Basically, you use this at minimum once every three weeks and at maximum twice a week. And basically what you do is like there's spikes on this and you make small, I know this sounds scary, but really it's not that painful at all. It's a very small sacrifice. You make small holes in your scalp, which allows new hairs to grow. So you're not making your hairs thicker, you just allow more hairs to grow on your head. The idea is that you shouldn't have any product in your hair when doing this and your hair has to be dry. And then all you basically do is you just try to do this at the points where you're experiencing baldness 
or you can do the whole head. That's totally up to you. So basically what I did, but I have products um, in my hair right now. So I'm, I'm not going to actually show the whole thing, but basically just put it on your head and you just move it a, bit, a little bit like this. And then you just work your way to the point where you experience baldness. This one is one millimeter deep. This is like what most people consider a good starter, a starter roller that goes a little bit deeper. Uh, this one goes 1.5 millimeters deep. So anyway, what I do is like after after using it, I just clean it up real well. Then it's ready for the, for the next time. Like they last pretty long. I haven't had to change them at all. I used them for more than a year already. I lowered stress. I implemented finasteride three milligrams a week. So one milligram again, three times a week. And I did derma rolling. At first I did it quite often. I did it like once or twice a week. And there, there was a period where I did it twice a week because they said that was like the maximum that was allowed. And because I really wanted to see results, that's what I did. The main thing is when you do these protocols, you shouldn't expect wonders. You have to give it time. So you have to stick to your routine and give it at least four to six months. So I didn't look at anything. What I did notice, the reason I started, was the fact that I saw that I was losing more hair whenever I was combing my hair or if I would put my hand through my hair. And I started doing this protocol and I just gave it time. I gave it six months and then I started really looking at my head again and I made before and after pictures. I recommend you do the same. So what my hair used to look like on the back, it would be very, very thin. And I would have like, my hair would be pulling back here quite a bit now however it looks really well and i don't believe my hair got thicker i just believe i got way more hair so i used to for many many years even when i wasn't experiencing hair shedding yet there were some pictures for example if i would go and swim and and someone would make a picture or whatnot you would be able to just look at my head or if i put like i used to have a different haircut where i would like put my hair up, you would be able to see my head. Nowadays, that's no longer the case because I have way more hair. It, it took six months. And yeah, this might look a little bit scary at first, but really it's, it's a very minimal amount of pain. And I wouldn't even call it a pain. It's like it itches. It's a bit annoying for like five to 10 minutes. And if you think that's really annoying, then just do it right before you go to sleep or whatnot. And really it won't, won't bother you much. So yeah, that's it. This video is short and simple, but again, you should really check with your doctor, test your DHT, look at your family tree, and also consider Consider if stress is a serious factor in your life or not. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. I really appreciate it. This way I can reach more people and I can continue making these videos. Bye-bye.